What's up you guys? I'm here in Charleston, South Carolina and I wanted to just update everybody on the current state of affairs down here. Whether you're planning a vacation or maybe a staycation, this is seven crucial things to know before you go to Charleston or any of the beaches near Charleston. Number one, Charleston is a COVID hotspot. Probably not the best place to visit in August of 2020, but keep on checking back. Hopefully things will calm down a little bit here in South Kakalaki. Um, face masks, you have to wear them in public. You have to wear them to enter almost pretty much all businesses. So bring multiple, have them all over the place so that you can do whatever it is you gotta do. Uh, business restrictions, there are a lot. <laughs> Starting with the fact that you cannot party in public past 11 p.m. Bars and restaurants cannot serve alcohol, no loud music, and they all have to serve at half capacity and limited hours, limited menus. They might not even be open. So if you are with a big group, especially do due diligence, make reservations. Otherwise, just, you know, hop on the old Google and make sure that wherever you wanna go is open and willing to serve you. <laughs> the next thing, parking restrictions all along the beaches it is limited or not allowed at all. Get transportation, prearrange it, from the beach. Um, and finally, social gatherings need to be 10 people or less. And if you're traveling to South Carolina, your state might enforce you to quarantine for two weeks upon your return. So definitely look into that and uh, that could affect your plan. Crucial tips you need to know before you go to the beach regarding traffic, transportation, alcohol, and liquor laws. On a good day, you should be able to get to any of these beaches from downtown within 20 to 30 minutes. However, in the peak summer months, you can expect a 20 to 40 minute delay due to heavy beach traffic, especially if you go between the hours of 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. In the summertime, if you're trying to leave the beach, it can be very hard or even impossible to order an Uber, especially for large groups. I highly recommend arranging transportation to the beach ahead of time with a company such as Crafted Travel or Charleston Affair. In recent years, the law has changed and it's no longer legal to drink on any of the Charleston beaches. Officers patrol up and down the beach all day on four-wheelers. So if you decide to bring alcohol anyway, which many people do, be discreet. Never have an open beer, can, or a bottle of liquor in view. Your alcoholic drink needs to be in either a solo cup or, more ideally, a reusable insulated cup or canteen like a Yeti cup or a Hydro Flask. Also, very important, don't forget that liquor stores are closed on Sundays in Charleston, which means you can only purchase beer or wine, so be sure to stock up on Saturdays before 7 p.m. if you're trying to have a Sunday fun day on the beach. So to sum it all up, all of the beaches near Charleston SC are beautiful and unique, catering to a diverse group of beachgoers and travelers. But when it comes to a bachelor or bachelorette beach bash, my personal favorite and top choice is Folly Beach without a doubt. So stick around for the next video and I'll explain why Folly is the best choice for your batch bash. I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, hit the little like button. And if you'd like more information about Charleston, be sure to check out my website, bakermanning.com or subscribe and hit the little bell notification to get notified when I post more videos, which I will be doing every week. Be on the lookout for my next video, which will be full of tips and tricks for planning a vacation or staycation in Charleston during COVID. I am Baker Manning. Thank you for tuning in and uh, holla at your girl.